Today, you're going to learn how to make a cool look and still image with movement, also known as a cinemagraph in Final Cut Pro. This is a two part video. And in the second part, you'll learn how to export the cinemagraph you just made as a GIF file. If you came here just to learn how to make a GIF in Final Cut Pro, you can skip to this part right here. Let's get started. First, let's make a cinemagraph from a video clip. For this, you'll need a tripod shot where your camera doesn't move at all. Your video clip needs a little bit of small, subtle movement in it, separate from the subject you want to freeze. Smaller movement and good separation from your subject will make this nice and easy. Select your video clip in your timeline and first make a copy of it by holding down the option key and dragging straight up. Place your playhead on the frame where you want to freeze your subject and press option F to make a freeze frame clip of your selected frame. In my case, since my subject has constant movement in the same direction, I had to freeze the very first frame. Ripple trim your freeze frame clip to the same length as your video clip and delete the remaining video. Press command 5 to open the effects browser. Select the masks category and add a draw mask to your top clip. In the video inspector, change the shape type to B-spline for nice soft curves. Zoom in on your viewer window and start adding control points to outline your subject. Since the subject in our clip is moving down, we only want to outline the top side. Because we're using the B-spline shape type, we have nice soft curves between our control points. If you need to make a sharp corner, right click on the control point and change it to linear. Keep adding control points to outline the top side of your subject. Take your time and be as accurate as possible here. Once you're done, zoom back out on your viewer window and add control points around the outside of your image to include the entire bottom half inside the mask. Adjust the feather slider to smooth out any rough edges around your mask. Render out your clip for this cool looking cinemagraph. For our next example, let's use a still image and add some movement to it to bring it to life. In my example, I'm going to add some steam coming off this pizza. Before we do, I'd like to take a minute to talk about the sponsor of this video, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is an all-in-one subscription service that has everything you need as a filmmaker. For one low monthly fee, you get unlimited access to stock video, royalty-free music and sound effects, video templates, graphic templates, fonts, and so much more. You get unlimited downloads and everything is covered by one simple license, so you never have to worry about copyright strikes. Let's head over to Envato Elements right now and see if we can find a Steam overlay to use for our next example. I'll select Stock Video, filter down to just Motion Graphics and search for Steam. Hover over any of these clips for a quick preview. This one here looks exactly like what I need, so I'll just click the download button, license a clip to my project and start my download. It's that simple. And if you're not sure whether it's right for you, you can try it absolutely free for 7 days. Try it out, you won't regret it. Now back to Final Cut Pro. First, let's make our still image fill out the entire video frame. Select the clip in your timeline, head up to the video inspector and change the spatial conform type to fill. Next, import your steam overlay clip and add it above the pizza clip in your timeline. Ripple trim this clip to the same length as your still image. Having a black background in this clip makes it very easy to remove. Just select the stock clip in your timeline, go to the video inspector and from the blend mode drop down menu select screen. Use the transform tool to resize and place the steam in the right spot. To better blend it in with the bottom clip, let's bring down the opacity of this clip to around 30% and to hide the hard line at the bottom from the effects browser add a shape mask and feather out the bottom edge. With just a couple easy steps, we turn this boring still image into a cool cinemagraph. Next, let's take the cinemagraph we just made and export it as a GIF file. And this doesn't just apply to cinemagraphs. You can do this with any video clip in your timeline, but you do need Apple's compressor app for this. First, press command comma to open the Final Cut Pro preferences window and select the destinations tab. On the left hand side, click add destination and drag over the compressor setting icon into your sidebar. In the pop-up window, scroll down to the motion graphics folder and select either the animated image large or small preset. Click OK and close the preferences window. If you only have the cinemagraph clip in your timeline, you can go ahead and hit the share button in the top right corner. 
But if, like me, you have other clips in your timeline, but you only want to export the cinema graph, there's one extra step. Use a keyboard shortcut R to switch to the range tool and click and drag out a range in your primary timeline you want to export. Everything above it will also be included. My example is just over 10 seconds long. Hit the share button and select animated image as your export preset. As you can see down here, our exported file will be just over 10 seconds long, just like the range we selected. Give it a name and select the save destination to export your cinema graph as a tiny GIF file you can easily share online. If you found this video helpful and you haven't yet, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back here next week.